Ever feel like you're leading a team and you've got all the right people, but something's just off? Like the potential is there, but it's not quite clicking. It's like a puzzle where you have all the pieces, but you can't quite figure out how to put them together. Exactly. And that's where team coaching comes in. Today, we're doing a deep dive into this diploma in team coaching from Positivity Global Coaching. They're all about this flipped classroom model, which sounds a bit like, well, school. Mm -hmm. But supposedly, it helps you become a confident coach way faster. What are your thoughts on that? Well, it's really interesting how they've taken this educational approach and applied it to, you know, the dynamic world of team coaching. And you're right. It's not just about speed. It's more about bridging that gap between theory and actually applying it in the real world, which, let's be honest, is something that traditional coaching programs often miss. Right. Because what good is all that knowledge if you can't actually use it? Thanks. OK, so before we get into the nitty gritty of the program, for those who might be new to this whole team coaching thing, could you break down what it actually is yeah. and maybe... More importantly, how it's different from, say, one-on-one -on -one coaching. Absolutely. So think of it this way. When you're coaching an individual, you're helping them reach their full potential. Right. Team coaching is kind of like zooming out. You're looking at the whole system. It's about understanding all those relationships, the communication patterns, even those unspoken dynamics that can really make or break a team's success. It's like the difference between tuning a guitar and conducting an entire orchestra. Exactly. A good team coach guides everyone towards a shared goal, helps them navigate conflicts, leverage their strengths, and ultimately achieve something amazing together. That's the dream. But I have to admit, when I hear diploma program, I immediately think lecture halls, textbooks, you know, not, <laughs> not exactly the most thrilling image. How does positivity global coaching make it engaging? And how does this flipped classroom thing actually work in practice? Okay, so imagine this. You're given a case study about a team on the verge of falling apart. But instead of just passively listening to someone talk about it, you're actually diving into the material beforehand. You're analyzing their communication, figuring out their dynamics, all before you even step into a classroom. Okay, so you're doing the homework up front, but then what happens in the actual sessions? That's when things get really interesting. It becomes all about action. You're role playing, getting feedback in real time, brainstorming solutions as a group. It's practical, it's engaging, and it really reflects the challenges you'll face as a team coach in the real world. Okay, I'm starting to see the appeal here. It's like learning by doing, which let's face it is how most of us learn best. But could you give me a more concrete example? Like what would one of these flipped classroom sessions actually look like? Sure. Let's say you're focusing on the DISC model, specifically the D for dominance. Okay, I'm familiar with that one. So you've already studied how dominance shows up in leaders, how it affects the way teams talk to each other, maybe even watch some videos of real life examples. Then boom, you're thrown into a live session. You're split into groups and each group is given a different challenge, all stemming from a team member who's overly dominant. Suddenly, you're not just reading about it, you're experiencing it, trying out coaching techniques, getting feedback and refining your approach all in real time. Okay, now that sounds way more engaging than just memorizing personality types from a textbook. Mm -hmm. It seems like they've really put a lot of thought into making this program as practical as possible. Absolutely. And they've designed it this way to really accelerate the learning process. It's about taking you from, okay, I get the theory, to I can do this. I can coach a team much faster than traditional methods. And they do it all while still covering a wide range of topics so you know you're getting a well-rounded education in team coaching. Speaking of covering all the bases, you mentioned that the curriculum is built around the International Coaching Federation's team coaching competency model. Yeah. Can you break that down for those of us who aren't fluent in coaching acronyms? Sure. Think of the ICF as the gold standard in coaching. They're the ones who set the ethical guidelines and make sure coaching, especially team coaching, is done effectively. So having this program aligned with the ICF means it's legit, like the real deal. Exactly. It's not just some random certification you can get online. And the ICF team coaching competency model is basically their way of saying, these are the core skills and knowledge you need to be a truly effective team coach. By building their program around this model, Positivity Global Coaching is essentially giving you the blueprint for success. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. So they've okay. done the hard work of figuring out what works and packaged it all into this program. Right. It takes the guesswork out of it for you and gives you a clear roadmap for developing the skills that the ICF and, by extension, the coaching profession as a whole, recognize as valuable. That's huge for someone looking to actually build a career out of this. 
So we've got the flipped classroom model mm -hmm. and the ICF backing it up. What else makes this program stand out? What other tricks do they have up their sleeve? Well, remember how we were talking about the importance of real world experience? Yeah, definitely. They actually have something called observed team coaching practice built right into the program. Hold on. Observed team coaching practice. <laughs> that sounds a little intense. Am I being graded? It's not as scary as it sounds, I promise. Think of it more like a structured internship for team coaches. You'll get to work with real teams, but you'll have an experienced supervisor there to guide you and give you feedback. Okay, that makes me feel a little better. <laughs> so it's not just hypothetical situations anymore. It's about taking what you've learned and applying to real people facing real challenges, and you've got someone there to make sure you don't completely crash and burn. Exactly. It's about bridging that gap between the classroom and the real world, giving you the confidence to actually go out there and coach after you graduate. That's a game changer. Hmm. But I have to ask, these real teams you're coaching, they know you're still in training, right? Of course. Ethics are a huge part of coaching. Positivity Global Coaching makes sure these teams know exactly what's going on and consent to being coached by someone in training. It can actually be a win-win because sometimes they get coaching services at a discounted rate or even for free. Okay, good to know. Wouldn't want any unsuspecting teams being experimented on. But this all sounds pretty intense. I'm guessing this program isn't for someone who's just like a little bit curious about coaching, they probably have some prerequisites to weed out people who aren't serious about this. You're right. It's definitely designed for people who are serious about making team coaching a career. They do look for a few key things in their applicants. Hit me with it. What do I need to make the cut? Well, first of all, they want people who have some experience in leadership or management roles. It doesn't have to be years and years, but having some practical experience dealing with team dynamics is a huge plus. That makes sense. You want to have some experience in the trenches before you start coaching others. What else? They also look for people who already have a basic understanding of coaching principles. You don't need to be a certified coach already, but being familiar with the fundamentals will definitely give you a head start. So maybe someone who's done some mentoring, taken a basic coaching course, or even someone with a background in a related field like psychology. Exactly. They want to make sure you're not starting from scratch and that you're passionate about continuing your education in this field. Got it. Experience, passion, check and check. Anything else aspiring team coaches should know before jumping in? Be prepared for a deep dive into yourself, too. Personal development is a big part of this program. Oh, how so? Well, Positivity Global Coaching recognizes that being an effective coach isn't just about techniques and models. It's about who you are as a person. You have to walk the walk. Not just talk the talk, right? right? Exactly. They help you develop the self-awareness, the emotional intelligence, the resilience you need to navigate the complexities of team dynamics. After all, you're the one guiding those difficult conversations, and that takes a solid foundation of personal growth and understanding. Right. You can't pour from an empty cup. So you're not just learning how to coach teams. You're also going on your own personal development journey. Precisely. And that's what sets positivity global coaching apart. They understand that being an effective coach is about the whole package, and they've made personal development a core part of their program. I'm really liking what I'm hearing. It's not just a skills upgrade. It's a personal transformation as well. Now, let's talk about the actual curriculum. What are you learning in this program? It's pretty comprehensive, actually. They cover everything from the very basic definition of team coaching to the complexities of the ICF team coaching competency model we talked about earlier. You'll learn about different models and frameworks used in team coaching, like the magic model and the five behaviors of a cohesive team. Sounds like a good mix of theory and practical tools. Exactly. You'll dive into communication strategies, conflict resolution techniques, and even learn how to facilitate those reflective spaces that are so important for teams. It's like they're giving you a whole toolkit to use depending on the specific challenges of each team. Exactly. You'll be equipped to identify and address those underlying issues that can sabotage a team's success. And you'll learn how to navigate those inevitable interpersonal dynamics that come up when people work together. And here's where it gets even more interesting. Remember those hidden organizational roadblocks we were talking about? The ones that traditional coaching often misses. You mean like when you have a team full of talented people, but they're tripping over their own feet because of some unspoken issue. Exactly. This program digs deeper than just surface level solutions. It looks at those systemic factors that affect how teams work. 
things like the company culture, the leadership styles, even the way the organization is structured. You learn how to spot those hidden problems and then guide the team toward creating systems that actually help them succeed. Okay, so it's not just about coaching the team, it's about coaching the whole system they're in. That's pretty cool. Exactly. And that's what makes this program so valuable. It's not just about putting out fires. It's about preventing them from starting in the first place. I like that. So I'm sold on the why of team coaching and how in-depth this program is. But what about the what now? Like say I finished this program, I put in the work, I'm a certified team coach. What does that actually look like? Mm -hmm. Am I just stuck doing trust falls with corporate teams for the rest of my life? Not at all. This program prepares you for a career that's as diverse as the teams you'll be coaching. You could start your own independent practice, set your own hours, pick your niche, work with whoever you want. So I could be like a team whisperer for yeah. hire. Fly in, solve all the drama, and then jet off to the next team in crisis. Exactly. Or maybe you find yourself working within a company, helping to build a coaching culture from the inside out. So I could be the one shaping how teams communicate and work together within a company. Exactly. And with so many people working remotely and teams spread across the globe, the demand for skilled team coaches who can bridge that gap is huge and growing every day. This program gives you the tools to thrive in that kind of environment. Okay, now you're talking my language. Yeah. But let's get real for a second. This all sounds amazing, but I also have to think about the practical side of things. How much time am I signing away? Am I going to be up late doing homework? That's actually where their approach really makes a difference because you're doing a lot of the learning beforehand. At your own pace, they've been able to cut down on the amount of live instruction time. Are you saying they've found a way to make learning this stuff, dare I say, enjoyable? Let's just say they've made it as engaging and accessible as possible. The program combines live learning and self-paced study for a total of 62 hours. Okay, 62 hours. That sounds like... A lot of hours. It's really not bad when you break it down. Think of it this way. 31 of those hours are live sessions, like those flipped classroom experiences we talked about, plus group mentoring and those observed coaching hours. So it's like attending a weekly workshop or seminar, manageable, even with a busy schedule. What about the other half? That's your self-paced learning. You'll have access to their online platform with all the lectures, readings, assignments, resources. You can log in whenever, wherever, fit it into your day. Okay, that's definitely doable. It's nice that they give you that flexibility, but I'm guessing this isn't a watch a few videos and get your certificate kind of program, right? Right. They're serious about quality, so they've got different ways to make sure you're really learning and applying what you're learning. So pop quizzes, group projects, a final exam. Don't leave me hanging. Think of it more like opportunities for integration than exams. You might have book reviews to help you dig deeper into the material. Hmm. There might be presentations to sharpen your communication skills. And get ready for some journaling because self-reflection is a big part of being a good coach. Okay, so the assignments are designed to help you actually learn and absorb the material. Got it. Exactly. And then, of course, there's the final diploma essay. Wait, a diploma essay? That sounds a bit intimidating. What if writing isn't exactly my strong suit? It's not as scary as it sounds. Think of it more as a chance to reflect on everything you've learned and define your own personal coaching philosophy. And they give you plenty of support throughout the program. Okay, that's good to know. Now let's talk about the elephant in the room, the cost. This all sounds amazing, but amazing usually comes with a hefty price tag. The total investment for the program is 2,650 US dollars or 2,515 euros if you're paying in full. Okay, that's an investment for sure, but I guess you have to weigh that against the potential returns. Exactly. The skills and knowledge you gain can pay off for years to come. New clients, higher fees, maybe even that dream coaching career we were talking about earlier. Exactly. It's an investment in your future, and they do offer payment plans to make it more manageable. That's good to know. So they've tried to make it as accessible as possible for people who are serious about this town. Absolutely. They believe in making quality coaching education available, regardless of your financial situation. I like that. Now, we've talked about the structure, the curriculum, the cost, but what about the people running the show? Who are the masterminds behind this whole thing? You'll be in good hands. The program is led by a team of experienced coaches and facilitators who are passionate about what they do. I'm all about learning from people who have actually been there, done that. Oh, and when it comes to coaching supervision, which is crucial for any coach's development, they've brought in the big guns, Angelos Lopez. Okay, 
Tell me more. Well, he's an ICF master coach. That's the highest level of accreditation you can get from the ICF with an advanced ICF accreditation in team coaching. And he's got additional accreditations from the Coaching Supervision Academy and the European Mentoring and Coaching Council. Okay, this guy's got some serious credentials. He brings a wealth of experience to the table and can really help you navigate the challenges and rewards of team coaching. So he's like... A seasoned Sherpa guiding you to the summit of team coaching mastery. But it's not just about the credentials, right? Definitely not. Angelos is known for being super supportive and insightful. He really wants to help coaches develop their own unique strengths and style. That's so important. The world doesn't need another cookie cutter coach. We need people who bring their own unique perspective. Exactly. And Positivity Global Coaching really emphasizes that throughout the program. They want you to be you, not some carbon copy of someone else. I love that. It's about empowering people to become the best versions of themselves. Okay, let's switch gears for a second, talk about something I know can be a bit controversial in the coaching world. The ICF. Some people think it's the gold standard, while others find it a bit too rigid. How does Positivity Global Coaching handle that conversation. It's a fair point. The ICF has a huge influence on the coaching world, but like anything, it has its pros and cons. What's great about this program is they don't shy away from that. So it's not about blindly following the ICF. It's about understanding it and then making your own choices about how you want to coach. Exactly. They present the ICF framework as a valuable tool, but also encourage you to think critically about it, question its limitations. Ultimately, develop your own coaching philosophy that feels right for you. I like that balanced approach. It's about empowering coaches to be independent thinkers, not just rule followers. Right. And even though this program does give you a clear path to becoming an associate certified team coach through the ICF, they're also clear that it's just one path among many. That's empowering. So it doesn't matter if you love structure or prefer to forge your own path. They support that. Absolutely. And they make sure you have the skills and knowledge to advocate for the value of team coaching, no matter what path you choose. Which is so important because, let's be real, coaching, especially team coaching, it's still pretty new. Mm -hmm. We need people who are passionate and can really articulate its benefits. Totally agree. That's what's so exciting about this program. It's not just about training individual coaches. It's about building a whole movement of people who want to change how we work and collaborate. I love that. Speaking of change... We can't forget about technology and the role it plays in coaching today. How does this program incorporate technology? That's a great question. It's definitely something they've put a lot of thought into. They've integrated technology in a way that enhances the learning, not distracts from it. So it's not just about using technology for the sake of it. It's about using it in a way that actually makes sense. Right. Remember that digital platform we talked about? That's a perfect example. It's your hub for everything. Lectures, readings, so you're about assignments, diving into the resources. World of professional coaching. You can even connect huh. with your classmates Maybe even going for and that mentors ICF through sort of, it. Like a virtual coaching community. Exactly. Yeah. And since it's all online, you can access it from anywhere in the world, which is a game changer for people with busy lives. It makes high quality coaching education accessible to anyone with an internet connection. Exactly. And they're not just using technology to deliver content. They're also using it to make the learning more collaborative. What do you mean? Like, what kind of interactive stuff are we talking about here? They've got online forums where you can chat with other students, share ideas, ask questions. They use quizzes and polls to make things more interactive and help you remember what you're learning. That's great. It's easy to feel isolated when you're learning online. So those connections are super important. For sure. It really adds to the community aspect. Okay, we've covered a lot of ground here, but I want to circle back to something we touched on earlier, personal development. Can you tell me more about how that's woven into the program? Yeah, I'm really curious about that too. They get that being a successful coach, especially a team coach, means more than just knowing the techniques. It takes self-awareness, emotional intelligence, a real understanding of how people work. You can't really guide someone on a journey of transformation if you're not on one yourself, right? Exactly. So they've built personal development into the program. There's self-reflection, mindfulness exercises, even exploring things like limiting beliefs and how they show up in your coaching. So it's not just about coaching others. It's about your own growth as well. Absolutely. And that's one of the things that makes this program so unique. It's about becoming a better coach and a better version of yourself. I love that. Okay, so we're nearing the end of our deep dive here. What stands out most to you about this program? What's your final takeaway? Honestly, it's their commitment to quality and doing things the right way. They haven't cut any corners. They've created a program that gives you the knowledge, skills, and support you need 
to be a successful team coach. So for anyone listening who's intrigued, who's feeling that little spark of, maybe this is for me, what would you say to them? What's the next step? I'd say trust your gut. If this program feels aligned with your values and what you want to do with your life, don't hesitate to reach out to Positivity Global Coaching. Have a conversation, check out their website, see if it feels like the right fit. Love that. Follow your passion, see where it leads you. Exactly. Even if you're not ready to enroll right now, just learning about team coaching and what it can do can open up so many possibilities. It's so true. Knowledge is power. And the more we know about team coaching, the better equipped we are to create teams that thrive. Okay, before we get to our final takeaways, I want to touch on something that I think is important for anyone considering this path, mentorship. Can you talk a bit more about what that looks like in the program? Absolutely. Mentorship is a huge part of what they do. Okay, but what does that mean in practice? Is it casual coffee chats with experienced coaches or something more structured? It's a bit of both. They have informal networking opportunities, but they also have a more formal mentorship program where you're paired with an experienced coach who provides one-on-one -on -one guidance and support. So you have your own personal coaching cheerleader in your corner. Exactly. They're invested in your success. They're yeah. there to celebrate your wins, help you through challenges, and be a sounding board as you build your coaching practice. That's awesome. It's like a built-in support system so you never feel lost or alone on this journey. Precisely. That's one of the things that sets them apart. They understand that becoming a coach can be tough, and they've got your back. That's so important. Now, let's switch gears for a second, talk about something that I think is especially relevant for people who are new to the coaching world. Yeah. All the different types of coaching, how do you even begin to figure out where you fit in? It's a great question. Coaching isn't one size fits all. There are so many different niches and specializations, and finding the one that lights you up is key. So we're not just talking about coaching teams within companies. Not at all. You could specialize in leadership coaching, helping executives navigate complex challenges, or maybe you're drawn to the startup world, guiding entrepreneurs to reach their full potential. So many options. It's not just about the where, but also the who you want to work with. Exactly. And this program exposes you to a variety of coaching methods and helps you figure out what resonates with you. It's like they're giving you a taste of everything so you can find your niche. Exactly. And they really encourage you to experiment, try new things, and figure out what kind of coach you want to be. That's so important. The best coaches are always learning and growing. Absolutely. And this program creates the perfect environment for that. Okay. Before we wrap things up, let's talk about the return on investment. What's the earning potential for someone who completes this program? It's tough to give a hard and fast number in the coaching world, especially as an independent coach. But the earning potential is definitely there, and it's growing as the demand for skilled coaches increases. So there's real money to be made doing this. Absolutely. Team coaching especially is in high demand. Companies are willing to pay top dollar for coaches who can get results. It's about finding that balance, loving what you do, and making a good living. Exactly. And this program gives you the business skills and marketing knowledge you need to build a successful coaching practice. That's fantastic. It's about more than just being a great coach. It's about building a sustainable business. Precisely. Okay, before we move on to our final thoughts, I want to circle back to something we mentioned earlier. Community. Can you tell me more about the community aspect of this program? Yes. I was hoping we'd get back to that. It's one of the most valuable things they offer. From the moment you start the program, you become part of a supportive network of like-minded people who are passionate about team coaching. So it's not just about what you learn, but also about who you're learning with. Exactly. It's about connecting with fellow learners, sharing experiences, and supporting each other. It's like having a built-in cheering squad as you navigate the coaching world. Exactly. And these connections often last well beyond the program. That's so valuable. Coaching can be competitive, so having a support system is huge. For sure. It's about fostering collaboration, not competition. And that's how the whole field of coaching benefits. Absolutely. When coaches feel supported, they're more likely to take risks, try new things, and create positive change. Now, as we wrap up our deep dive, I want to leave our listeners with one final thought-provoking question to consider. Imagine you're not just watching a team anymore. You're actually coaching them, that team we talked about, the one that wasn't really working. Now they're unstoppable. They're hitting all their targets, and it's because of the environment you helped create. It's amazing to see a team transform like that. What does that feel like to be a part of? What kind of impact do you want to have as a team coach? It's about helping people unlock their potential, not just individually, but as a team. 
seeing those aha moments when they go from disagreeing to working together, from being stuck to coming up with amazing ideas. It's about guiding them toward positive change, not by being the boss, but by understanding them and how they work. And the best part is that more and more companies are looking for leaders who can do this, who can handle the complexities of today's workplace. It's not just a job. It's about being part of a movement that's changing how we work and connect with each other. Exactly. And this program gives you everything you need to be a part of that change. I love that. So for anyone listening who's feeling inspired, who wants to be a part of this, what should they do? Go for it. Check out Positivity Global Coaching's website. Talk to someone there. See if it feels like the right fit for you. It's about taking that leap and seeing where it leads you. Exactly. Even if you're not ready to sign up just yet, just learning about team coaching can open up a whole world of possibilities. Absolutely. Knowledge is power. The more we know about team coaching and how it can help people, the better we can make the world of work. And on that note, I think it's time to wrap up our deep dive into the world of team coaching. It's been a pleasure chatting with you. The pleasure was all mine. And everyone listening, thank you for joining us on this journey of exploration. We hope you found it valuable. Until next time, keep learning, keep growing, and keep diving deep.